Hey guys, welcome back to Kathy Rain. In the last episode, we went to the attic, and now we are going to the cemetery once again because we want to check out where that, uh, who that woman is. And well, here we go. I should have checked if we can change the style of the of our bike, but I didn't. So we need a woman who is, who died on the 15th of something. So we're just going to check out some tombstones here. All right, so let's start with this one. No, that's not the one. That is not the one either. That's not the one either. That's not the th one we're looking for. Mm-mm. Nope. Oh, there's right, someone. This is the right date. Looks like her name was Lily Myers. I should try to get a hold of her family. Okay, so we know now who that is. Lily Myers, but we also... I wonder what that kid is doing here all alone. Very good question indeed. So, let's talk to that kid. Hey, kid. Hi, yourself. What are you doing? None of your business. Huh, I like you, kid. You're not here alone, right? Where's your mom? Oh, she's around. I don't see her. Oh, I you must be get blind it. or something. I'll go look for your mom, okay? Don't go anywhere. Whatever. Okay, but I don't see... Rest in peace, Grandpa. I wish things could have been different. I should go look for his mother. Yeah, but where is she? A Maybe... family mausoleum. No reason to go in. Yeah, okay, so th that's not the case. Huh, that is weird. Over here somewhere, maybe? I shouldn't leave while that kid is alone. That is true. Maybe it's one of the tombstones? Hmm. But, what, what, where kid? is... What? Guess he found his mom. Okay, that was weird. Did we just imagine things there? Hmm. Okay, that is very strange. But it doesn't matter for now. I guess. And we are going to do... Maybe I should have done this before. Because we have to call some people. So we're gonna hit mom's pl uh, grandma's place once again. This time I'm going to go to bike selection. Okay, nothing. So let's hit back. And we are going to talk to grandma first because we do have new revelations. Lily Myers, huh? Yeah, hi there, Grandma. Let's talk. We do have some new info. There are a few things I need very well. Okay, and it's I this. found out that the drowned girl's name was Lily Myers. Ring a bell? Oh, yes. Oh, how could I forget? Sue, Jack, oh, and their children, Lily and Nathan. Do they still live around here? Mother and son do. I, I see them in town from time to time. They live somewhere near the lake. But not the father. No. He disappeared not long after Lily took her own life. Whoa, she killed herself. That's news to me. Oh, that girl had been troubled for years. Truman made an official statement later. It was no accident. I see. Do you know how I can reach the family? Not really, dear. Like I said, they tend to keep to themselves. Hmm, sad. Maya's family, okay. Well, gotta go, Grams. Talk to you later. Bye, Kathy. 
All right, so let's head to the phone and make some calls now, I guess. She's been dead for two decades. I could try to find someone in her family, but I'll need a full name. That is true. Nope, couldn't find it. Okay, I'm just gonna try to block no out this. No result for that. Yeah, graying out these. All right, found an address. New location added. That's good. Okay, let's call the dorm room just for the heck of it. Hey, it's me, Kat. Oh, hi, what's up? Mm, oh, we can talk to her about things. Too complicated to explain over the phone. I'll fill her in about it later. Okay. I don't need to ask her about that. I don't need to ask her about that. I'm trying to find this guy, but all I have is his nickname, Cocky. Well, what do you know about the guy? Not much. I think he was in the Air Force and served with Grandpa. Maybe you could try to find somebody in the Air Force who knew him then? Yeah, that might be worth a shot. Okay, so we will have to f locate the Air Force base I'm trying somehow. to contact Charles Wade. You know the industrialist? Wow, really? Why? It's complicated, but he knew Grandpa back in the day. They went to war together. Huh, must be super hard to get in touch with a person like that. Uh, yeah, I'm finding that out. Maybe you could ask someone in the Air Force. If he used to serve with your granddad, I mean. Yeah, could be worth a shot. Hmm. I don't need to ask her about that. Okay. Okay, gotta go. Talk to you later. Bye, Kathy. Alright, so let's call the Air Force Base then. McConnell Air Force Base, how can I help you? Hi. I was just wondering if you had time to answer a few questions. Sure thing, ma'am. Ask away. Okay, we're gonna go through our list then. Do you know anything about what happened to Joseph Rain in 81? I know that he was no longer stationed here at the base at that time. He'd left the Air Force decades earlier. But as a Conwell Springs citizen, sure, I've heard the rumors just like everybody else. How he was found by the sheriff all messed up, walking out of the woods with some kind of unexplained brain damage. Any theory as to what he was doing out there? I'm afraid not, ma'am. But I'm positive that it had nothing to do with this base or our operations here. Okay. What can you tell me about his service at McConnell? Well, Joseph Rain is a legend around here. His pile of metals weighs more than my car. I was fortunate enough to meet him before he suffered his injury, and I must say, what an inspiring man. I'm positive that he would have made general if he'd stuck around. Any idea of why he quit? He looks so happy in the pictures from the war. Oh, your family, ma'am? Granddaughter. Well, then I'm sorry for your loss. I heard about his recent passing. Appreciate it, buddy. So, about him quitting. I shouldn't speak ill of the dead, but some say the war broke him. PTSD. Me? I don't think so. When I met him, he had this aura about him, like he wasn't afraid of anything. Maybe it was his guilt. He ended a lot of lives, but that's just me speculating. Gotcha. Thanks for the thoughts. Hmm, that was interesting. What can you tell me about McConnell Air Force Base? This is one of the oldest Air Force bases in the U.S., established during World War I. The main purpose of it is to train fighter pilots. The McConnell Flight School is well-renowned all around the country. In the late 80s, the school started accepting a limited number of civilian applicants due to the high demand. Some of the most famous dogfighters in U.S. history, such as Ethan Fireball Jenkins, Joseph Vigilante Rain, and Brett Xavier Myers trained at this very base. Charles Wade, the great industrialist, did too. Some claim that many of his revolutionary ideas came from the former chief mechanic here, the late Niles Bloom. Niles Bloom. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Thanks for the history lesson. Okay. I don't see a reason to ask him about that. What about this? Do you recognize the aviator call sign, Cocky? Afraid not, ma'am. I know all the call signs here, and I'm positive it's not one of them. Oh. This isn't current, though. It might have been used as early as World War II. Oh, that's unfortunate. We don't keep any official records of call signs. 
The only option I can think of is to get a hold of somebody who was around back then. Mm -hmm. Any suggestions? The only person I can think of who is still alive would be Charles Wade. The billionaire? He was stationed at McConnell? He was, up until the point when he founded Wade Industries in the 60s. Hmm. I'm trying to get a hold of Charles Wade. Would you happen to know how to reach him? I'm sorry, ma'am, but Charles Wade is a public figure. He has explicitly asked us not to provide his contact details to anyone. Is there any way you can make an exception? I really need to talk to Mr. Wade. No can do. I can't really help you out unless you have some sort of official business. Hmm. But what if it was a matter of life and death? Ma'am, if you're in a life-threatening situation, I suggest you call 911. Hmm. I'm not going to pretend to be a cop. Although, do I? I do have official business. I'm Deputy Reagan. I'm calling from Conwell Springs Sheriff's Department. Nice try. You know what caller ID is? You can clearly see that you're not calling from the station. Goodbye. Oh, okay. Damn, I can't pull that off if I call from here. Okay, we have to go to the sheriff's office for that, uh, for that then. But we can go through the rest of the list at least here. McConnell Air Force. Hi. Sure thing, ma'am. Uh, this will just trigger I'm trying the I'm sorry. Yeah. Is there a Okay. Yeah, let's Never just give mind. up. Right. I don't see a reason to ask him about that. Okay, so that was, um... Alright, that's all. Goodbye, ma'am. So I just wasted some time, but that's okay. But at least you now know that we have to go to the sheriff's office. And we're gonna do that, of course. So let's go. Oh, we can also go to the Lakeside cabin, but we are going to go to the sheriff's cabin first, uh, sheriff's office first. And uh, where can we? We can't use this phone, but was there a phone inside here? I guess there was. I'm not sure. We'll see in a second. Is there a phone? Yeah, there is a phone here. So let's use that. But, but wait, do we have something hey. new with the bombs? Hi there. Okay. See ya. Okay. No, we don't. So let's pick up the phone and call the Air Force Base once more. McConnell Air Force. Hi. Sure thing. I'm trying to. I'm sorry. He Is there any. Okay. I do have official business. I'm Deputy Reagan. I'm calling from Conwell Springs Sheriff's Department. Hmm. I can see that you're actually calling from the station. You say you're a cop? You don't sound like a cop. Hmm. Ignore his doubts. Threaten to report him. Accuse him of being sexist. I'm gonna go with doubts. Contacting Mr. Wade is crucial to an ongoing investigation. I can't divulge any details at this time, but I'm going to need that number right away. I don't believe you. Put the sheriff on. Crap. Okay, that didn't work. So let's try again and accuse him of being a sexist. McConnell Air Hi. Sure. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm sorry. Is there... Okay. I... Hmm. What the hell is that supposed to mean? It's just because I'm a woman, right? Women don't belong in law enforcement? Is that what you're saying? That's so sexist. Now that's hardly what... Do you have any idea what I have to go through every day? Nobody takes me seriously. The dirty looks, the sexual innuendos, I've... Relax, okay? I'll check the files. It's 555-7641. Uh -huh. Thanks, buddy. Nice, okay, so... We're gonna call there immediately, of course. Wait, residents. Hi, this is Kathy Rain. I'm calling for Charles Wade. He doesn't live here anymore. What's this about? What do you want with my father? I'd just like to have a quick word with Mr. Wade. It's about my grandfather, Joseph Rain. You're 20 years late, girl. My father has neither time nor energy to deal with you people. But... This conversation is over. 
Unless my father explicitly says he wants to talk to you, it's not going to happen. Okay, that is very a rude. Duck up, overclass witch. Indeed. Well, she hasn't heard the last from me. I'm going to talk to that old man one way or another. The question is how, though. I'm going to try once more. Real quick here. You've reached Anacom. Okay, I that. I want to put a message in here, but I'm not sure what. I think I'll sleep on it and try to figure out something tomorrow. Okay, so we're going to have to do that tomorrow. It seems like there is going to be a tomorrow. But for now, we are kind of okay here. And we are going to leave and hit the lakeside cabin this time. Can we now, maybe? Apparently not. Okay, I was pretty sure that we can change gears, if you want to call it that, with a bike, but maybe it's just not, not yet at least? Okay, let's have a look around first. Looks like there's a small dock with a couple of boats. I don't have a reason to go down there. Mm hmm. Conwell Lake, where Lily Myers met her demise. Thick, dense forest. What were you doing out there, Grandpa? Good question. We're gonna try and find out. No, 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 I don't wanna. Ah, oh, that just makes us leave. I didn't wanna leave. No! <laughs> No, I just wanted to, her to say something about it. Okay, back at the cabin. What else is going on here? There's a ton of discarded cigarette butts. Somebody around here is a chain smoker. We have something in common. Good to know. Fifty-five degrees. Not too chilly, thankfully. Mm-hmm. Let's have a look through the window first. I can see someone moving inside. Aha, uh -huh, there is someone. That's good. That's very good. Okay. Let's knock on the door. Yes? Can I help you? I hope so. My name's Rain. Kathy Rain. Joseph's girl. The one they sent away. Yeah, that's right. Hmm. Well, what do you want? I had some questions about your daughter, Lily. Well, you know what? I don't have any answers, girl. Lily was precious, special. Lily died. That's all there is to it. My grandfather came to see you, right? To ask about her? Maybe he did. I don't see how that's any of your business. I'm not asking for much, Mrs. Myers. Then clearly, you have no idea what it's like losing a child. Goodbye. Hmm. Okay, that is not good. Something was special about that girl. I just know it. I don't have anything to say about that. Hmm, you don't, huh? What really ha I don't have anything to say. Hmm. <laughs> Something was special about... I wonder who this cocky person really is. Charles Wade. Hmm, so the question is, what do we do? We have to do something here, I feel like. Oh, there's also this small key. That doesn't need unlocking. Hmm. I doubt this coin does any good there. Hmm, newspaper clipping. I'm having a hard time following that logic. Overexposed picture, the math book, those won't actually help. So the question is, what are we supposed to do? Hmm. Hmm. Let's just try our luck again, maybe? <laughs> you again. Hmm. Maybe. Oh, okay. I, I have an idea because she's a heavy smoker. Won't you ever no, I won't give up because... Care to join me for a smoke, Mrs. Myers? It did work. Well, um, I'm gonna have to think about it. Hmm. 
Well, I suppose one smoke can hurt. Nice, okay. And that's when he realized it was his own bong. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, oh now that was a good one. <laughs> you know what, Kathy? You're okay. Sorry for being such a cranky old bag before. I get a short fuse when I run out of smokes. Now that's an understatement. Good thing I had my morning smoke, otherwise we would have had a fist fight on our hands. <laughs> oh, it's getting chilly. Why don't we head inside? Nice! How a little smoke can make a big difference. Now, this here's my boy Nathan. He's special. Nate, be polite and say hello to Kathy. Hi, Kathy. Hi there, big guy. Hmm, okay, so I guess it's time to have a look around here. Very lifelike. Contrary to popular belief, I don't believe the owls are more than what they seem. Nice view of the lake from here. Indeed. Yet another burial ground for those sweet, addictive, not to mention cancer-inducing sticks of tobacco. I'm a huge fan. Yeah, maybe you want to give up at some point. Let's have a look at the painting. Nice painting. <coughs> Sorry. L.M. Mm-hmm, so this is by Lily, apparently. Elk, by the looks of it. They're fairly common in Conwell Woods. And I can stone. smell something cooking. Mm-hmm, nice. Okay, let's talk to Nathan first. What you doing, big fella? Drawing. Oh yeah? What are you drawing? The nice red man. You mean Santa? No, the nice red man. Now what did I say about raising your voice at strangers? Sorry, Mama. I'll be nice. The red man is nice. Don't mind him. He gets so absorbed in his drawings thanks to that wild imagination of his. Just like his sister. Uh-huh. Nah, he's stuck in his old... Okay, let's talk to... So, you wanted to ask me about Lily? Yeah. Do you mind telling me what happened when my grandfather came to see you? Well, he knocked on my door a few years after Lily had passed away. I didn't know Joseph too well myself, but I'd heard of him, and the good he'd done for the other people around here. So I let him in. He started asking a bunch of questions about Lily, like if I was absolutely sure that she... that it was suicide. And what did you say? The truth. That she was depressed and, and had been for a long time. I had no doubts about what happened. Hmm. hmm. All right. Anything else? Well, he was weirdly curious about her paintings. Lily painted? Mm -hmm. Yep, that's one of hers right there on the wall. I see, it's beautiful. So, in what way was he curious? He asked if Lily had painted anything odd or strange. I didn't really get what he was after, but I, I let him have a look at her work. He spent some time browsing through them, and then he wrote something down on a piece of paper, thanked me, and left. Huh. Any idea of what he could have seen? Not really. I had the paintings all lined up. Could have been any of them. Would you mind showing them to me? Well, I would if I could, but this is the only one I have left. I sold the rest many years ago to this weirdo art collector. Mm-hmm. An art collector, huh? All right. We have a lot to talk about. No reason to show her that. Hey, Sue, do you recognize any of these men? Well, there's Joseph Rain. <laughs> Always so handsome. I had such a crush on him back in the day. And... No way. That's him. The man who bought the paintings. He's, he's much younger here, but there's no mistake in that hair and nose. Are you sure? Oh, okay. I'm positive, little cat. That's the guy who walked into this cabin with five grand in cash. Okay. That's very helpful, Sue. Thanks. Ugh. Another question for the elusive Mr. Wade. Interesting. Okay. So we know about that. Do you know what this key opens? Well, that's a bit of a weird question, ain't it? But no. Okay. So let's talk. Do you know anything about what happened to my grandfather? 
How he ended up in a wheelchair? Stroke, wasn't it? At least that's what I heard. Not necessarily. There are some divided opinions about it. Now that I think about it, that whole ordeal happened to him not long after he came here. How long? Mm -hmm. A week, maybe, at the most. Mm hmm. Interesting. I don't need to ask her about that. Good. Let's talk about Mind Lily. Mind telling me what Lily was like, Sue? I'd be happy to. She was Nathan's older sister by two years. Lily was like any girl growing up, normal, happy, talking about school, boys, and whatnot. And she and Nathan were close back then, always playing together in the woods. When Lily was ten, she started drawing, always doodling on just about anything she could get her hands on. We didn't have much, really, and so she used what she could. Once I even caught her scribbling on toilet paper. <laughs> on her twelfth birthday, we gave Lily a thick sketchbook with an assortment of pencils. She was ecstatic. That was the happiest I'd ever seen her. From that day, drawing became her life. Eventually, her art teacher at school helped her to get started with oil painting. When Lily was 15, something changed. At first, I thought it was just usual teen angst, but no, this was something different. She started going out, disappearing for long periods of time. She locked herself in when painting. She never used to do that. I tried everything. Counseling, support groups, antidepressants, nothing worked. About a year later, she just gave up. And, well, you know the rest. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, Sue. That must have been unimaginable. Thanks, darling, but it's been a while now. I've learned to live with it. You know, I've been through something similar. M my mom. She never killed herself, but, well, she came close. That's a damn shame. I heard about her problems. Is she doing any better now? Better isn't the word I'd use. I had to put her in a place where she couldn't hurt anyone, including herself. Yeah, life ain't easy for any of us. Flip a few coins along the way and I could have ended up somewhere like that myself. I'm awfully sorry things went that way for you, Ma. Anyhow. Thanks, Sue. Taking it one step at a time. Alright, guys, I know we have hit the end of the episode mark, actually, but I'm gonna keep going for a while here because I feel like we are onto something. I don't need to ask her about that. So, Charles Wade was the one who bought those paintings from you? Yep, like I said, he gave me five grand for Lily's paintings. If you want to know his reasons, you're gonna have to ask the man himself. Hmm. <laughs> what do you do to support the two of you? A little bit of this and that. Got me some cash saved up, too. Nathan helps out when he can. What happened to your husband, if you don't mind me asking? You could say he didn't quite cope as well as I did with what happened to Lily. He got himself a death wish after what happened to her started drinking and getting into all sorts of trouble. Five years left for him in the joint now. Been there for 15. Man, that must be rough for you. Oh, we're doing just fine without him, aren't we, Nate? Mama takes good care of us. Mama sure does. Hmm. So, tell me about Lily's art. It used to be about cheerful things. Landscapes, animals, bright colors. But as she drifted further into depression, she started painting horrible things. Death and decay. And the last few pieces look like something out of a nightmare. That's awful. Did Lily ever get any recognition for her art? Not really. Except from the guy I told you about who bought most of her paintings. Uh-huh. Okay, so is there anything else? It was fun the last time, but nah. Okay. Church brochure. What do you think about this church? <coughs> it's a good church. I go there from time to time. I bring Nate, too, when that boy needs the fear of God put into him. Mm-hmm. Okay. Dictaphone, uh, the math book. We already showed this one. This one won't make any sense. I'd rather just ask her about her daughter directly. Yeah, exactly. And the rest we had already. No reason to 
Okay. I think I'm gonna head off now. Sure thing, little cat. Come back anytime. It's getting late. I should head back to the city. Alright, so apparently... We're going back to the dorm. Hey, you're still up. I was wondering when you'd show up. How did it go? Long story. I found out about some stuff that happened when I was a kid. Wow, what a mystery. So what's the plan now? Hmm, Grandpa's still gone and nothing I can do to change that. Besides, it's all dead ends anyway. I don't know yet, but I'll figure something out. Some uh, some shot eye is the plan. I'm about, about, uh, about to pass out. Hmm, I'm gonna go with the second option. I don't option. know yet, but I'll figure something out. What about this Charles Wade? You still haven't talked to him? And that strange bright picture you showed me? Those tapes? Listen, I know this guy. Eileen, relax. We can talk about it tomorrow, okay? Oh, it's way too late now. No, oh, I couldn't possibly sleep now. I'm way too excited. Well, that makes one of us nighty. <sighs> Good night, cat. Okay, so... Hey, Kathy, wake up! Ugh, you are so lucky there are no sharp objects near this bed. Guess what? I got an idea. Please tell me it involves you taking a sabbatical. Haha, <laughs> so you found all this evidence, right? Pictures, tapes, and stuff? I guess. Why? Well, as you know, I have a computer. And I know this hacker guy, Dave, and... Oh, never mind. I'll just write you a note. You go back to sleep. Seriously, Eileen, sometimes I just marvel at how your brain works. I know, right? <laughs> oh, she's cool. She's really cool. That night, Kathy dreams. Are you sure you want to do this, Catherine? You still have time, if you think there's any chance you would change your mind. I'm sure, Doctor. Just get it out of me. But please, don't tell my mom. I'm sorry, but we have to do that. It's the law. Hmm, nobody has to know. Just pretend it slipped your mind. It's none of your business. It's my choice to make. It's none of her business. It's my choice to make. I have enough shit going on with her already. This would just add fuel to the fire. I'm afraid there's nothing I can do. Fine. Let's just get this over with then. Right this way. Oh, did she have an abortion? Is th that what it's all about? Okay, that is... Huh, okay, day two. Get on the cat mobile. Mo mobile. Ugh, I hate that dream. Did you have an abortion, Kathy? Is that the case? I guess Eileen went to class. I probably should too. Nah. Yeah, that's just Kathy. Alright guys, I'm really sorry that we have overstepped the boundaries of an episode so heavily, but I think that's okay because we unraveled quite some things. There are still some mysteries to solve, but we are going to do that on further episodes, so for now, I guess this is it for this episode, and if you want to know what's going to happen next, you'll have to tune in next time for... Kathy Rain. Director's Cut. See you then. <laughs>